Here we are with the HV Diagnostics HVA60, which is a 60 kV VLF, and we're verifying its performance today using our high voltage meter. So we're gonna turn this thing on and go through the settings. So here we are on the main menu where you can start a new test menu mode, reports and setup, or use the last test sequence. I'm gonna go through the whole uh, test setup and we're gonna look at what the reports do. And so we're just gonna test the cable, but we can see what other things we can test like motor, generator, transformer, switch gear, vacuum bottle, or something else. I'll keep it on cable. And yeah, you gotta use this turn knob to do everything. And we'll say it's a, we'll just say it's a 25 kV rated cable as well. And here's all the different types of installations that you can pick from prior populated in the system. Keep it on XLPE. And then we get through all the report type fields and I'm gonna leave a lot of the things filled out already. But you can see the report title, what phase you're gonna be doing. This should probably say like A, B, or C. Company name, region name, station name. And if I wanna edit something like that, I gotta do it all with this turn knob. And basically I gotta turn it back once to erase, get that back arrow, hit enter. And then I can put something that's actually useful here. And I'll spell out this really awesome name of the station we are gonna be testing, ATEC. And then when I'm done, I just hit the X again, and turn the knob, 44 foot line, gauge size, manufacturer, fill that in if you want, leave it blank, work order, number blank, Joe's operating it. And here is where I decide, you know, I can do manual mode and pick automatically, you know, hey, I'm gonna test that this KV voltage right now, or I can do the auto test sequence and pick, you know, these preloaded tests here. I'm gonna do the 25 KV acceptance cable tests and next and see what that looks like and so yeah it tells you hey we're going to be doing 32 kv at 60 minutes at a 0.1 hertz vlf and we'll trip out on arc and report so let's hit start and at this point gotta hit the high voltage button and then we can see here's our verification right here but let's check out what the uh, screen shows so it starts drawing out the sine wave and we see what our actual is right now. And then after each cycle, we get a new RMS value up top. So we can see that and then to verify, we can see our VLF voltage slowly increasing and decreasing up here. And so basically the test would go through and do this for an hour. And then you'd come back and see what, what it looks like. Okay, it's been a few minutes. I'm gonna hit stop because I'm uh, ready to see what my report looks like. And so we can view the report. And here we go. We have all those uh, things we set up earlier. And test interrupted at step one after two minutes. So we can see all the timing and that sort of thing. So yeah, after you run your tests, you can basically go back to the main menu and you can go look back at all those previous reports here, set the contrast. Uh, let's see, instrument settings, date and time, where the startup is, system info, things like that. And, you know, if you wanna see your reports, they'll all be stored right here. And then to export the reports to USB, you have your connection on the side of the unit right here. And all your high voltage connections are done right here. All the cables are included with the unit. So you have your, your high, your ground, and your power to the unit right here. And also, it comes in this very nice carry case. And then for manual test mode, here's what the screen looks like. So you can set your, your VLF voltage here. Let's see if I can get it to, there you go. Here you go, yeah, 44 kV RMS, hit start. Um, it's obviously looking at our DUT. 25 kV cable and then you can also do burn on arc and you can change your 
type of waveforms. You know, if you want to do DC high pod burn type testing, that's where you do it right here. Thanks for watching the video on the HVA60 here at ATEC. We have many, many, many solutions for all your electrical testing needs. We also have the knowledge, the equipment, the solution.